观众朋友们，晚上好！今天是二月十七号，星期三，农历的大年初四，现在是晚上的六点整。欢迎你准时收看 Wow TV 正在直播的国语晚间新闻。Before you became the Minister of Transportation, you were the Minister of Education, and you have a lot of experience in the education field. I do. Yeah. I so do. tell us, what did your party and what did you do for the past several years as a Minister of Education, and、yeah. what are you planning to do? 观众朋友，晚上好！今天是八月二十号，星期一。欢迎您准时收看今天的国语晚间新闻。我是高航。On February 1st, there was a protest、um, organized by three universities in Toronto. They marched and they asking for, how come the Liberal government cannot give this rebate to all the students? 加拿大统计局今天公布的数据显示，本国今年一月通胀率为百分之一点九，较去年十二月上升超过百分之零点五，这已经是通胀率连续第四个月上升。Perfect for summer, yeah, especially you, the temperature is at、sure. its peak, and you know the air conditioner has already pushed itself up to the limit, and we don't want to stay a lot of time in the kitchen. 欢迎您收看我们特别制作的二十国集团峰会特辑。接下来的时间呢，我们就从几个不同的角度来和大家一起总结分析一下这次峰会。I remember that you did interview with McLean's magazine, and you said that the unemployment rate. For the immigration, for the newcomers, it's like with the university degree,、yes. is four times higher than the native-born Canadians. 我所处的位置呢，就是国际媒体中心的唯一的一个正门的入口。那么，所有的各国的新闻工作者。从这里进入都要经过非常严密的安保检查。那么这个中心从二十三号的中午十二点开始呢，将会一直二十四小时不间断的开放，直到峰会结束，给各国的所有媒体工作者来使用。This、uh, budget politically is a very smart budget because you make some of the opposition parties happy.、Um, Probably the NDP parties they are talking about the budget right now. 国际媒体中心呢，一共是划分为十一个区域。那么在我身后呢，就是为来自各国的新闻媒体工作者，在闲暇之余提供一个休闲娱乐，而且也是全身心感受加拿大的地方。那么在这里呢，新闻媒体工作者不仅可以坐在人工湖前喝一点小酒，还可以充满激情的为世界杯呐喊助威。You mentioned that you have a nine-to-five job, and、yes. you have so many titles and singer, artist, writer. How Do you arrange your time? Like you, you got forty eight hours every day. Yes. 那么加拿大经济呢，在经过了去年的衰退之后呢，如今可以说是刚刚步上复苏的轨道。在这样的情况之下呢，对于很多新移民来说，找工作仍然是头等大事。If you lost, who do you want to see to win the election? 今天要为大家介绍的就是一位曾经为 X 战警和 X 战警二做这个造型和特效的我们加拿大自己的艺术家 Gordon Smith。那么现在呢，在多伦多市中心的这个 Bell Lightbox 有一个专门为他的作品而做的一个展览。This exhibition is dedicated to our Canadian artist Gordon Smith, but probably very few people have ever heard about his name. Tell us a little bit more about him and what made you decide to have such an exhibit of his works. 加拿大历史上最昂贵的两天所带来的收获呢？按照总理哈珀的话说，就是实现了两个历史性的目标。第一呢，就是二十国集团成员国一致承诺，在二零一三年之前将财政赤字减少一半。第二，就是在二零一六年之前，各国努力使财政赤字在 GDP 中所占的比率实现稳中有降。